Hey there. So in this video, I'm going to show you why you are making a big mistake if you are working a full-time job and you want to be your own boss someday and you haven't started a side hustle yet. You might be making a big, big mistake. See, the thing that happens is uh, in a lot of cases, there's always something that's holding you back from launching a side hustle, uh, especially when you're working a full-time job. So I actually just happened to be going through some uh, online gigs uh, and things like that some time ago, but this might have been a few weeks back. And I came across this job that I think showcases exactly what the problem is for a lot of you guys out there that, you know, uh, maybe you're working full time, you want to be your own boss someday, but then you're confronted with something like this. On this job, they li on this job posting, they literally said, uh, you should stop doing your side hustle. Are you willing to give up your side hustle? Are you willing to stop doing what you're doing on the side? Are you willing to stop your side gigs, your side activity? Uh, and as somebody that does, you know, side hustles and that teaches uh, the, the side hustle methods in that I that I have codified in my program, Product Side Hustle League, as somebody that encourages, you know, uh, people of all ages, from young to old, to go out there and build a side hustle. I took issue with that, but I think that really showcases the problem that's out there and that might be holding a lot of you guys back is, you know, you go out in the job market and then you have these jobs that want you to uh, basically forsake any side hustle you might have been doing. So that means you have to stop your dropshipping store. <laughs> you gotta stop your, uh, you know, your Uber Eats. You gotta stop your DoorDash activities. You gotta stop uh, that little SaaS software as a service side project you and your homies were working on. Uh, they basically want uh, you to stop all that. And, you know, depending on if you've got a big job, like, you know, in Silicon Valley or Wall Street or, you know, you're in law or something, you know, like your boss might be uh, completely against you doing any side hustles as well. But this is where you gotta, you gotta make a decision as a man. And I'm telling you, if you're not, um, if you're not building a side hustle on the side, guys, you might be making a terrible mistake. And it doesn't matter if your boss is like, Hey John, this is this is Netflix. This is Amazon. We gotta work a hundred hours a week. We work a hundred hours a week. Yeah, you gotta get me the program. You gotta stop your side hustle. But what your boss is not telling you is, five ten years from now, when that same company lays you off from that job, uh, you're gonna be left all out on your own. Your boss will be at home sleeping with his wife. And you are left out all on your own in your world. And now you got to start life afresh from zero, right? Like um, even the fact that the job might treat you well for years does not mean that you're always going to have it. Like none of us owns our jobs, right? And, and this is why you should be offended as well at how some of these jobs are literally saying you can't do a side hustle like that might work for them as like company policy but uh, if you're watching out for your future guys I just have to break it to you the right way there's no alternative there's no <laughs> alternative not to mention the fact that by the time that some of you guys retire by the time that some of you guys get to retirement age retirement uh might be all in the past, you know, the, the retirement, pensions, all this kind of thing. Uh, those things are not, not always, uh, always guaranteed. And I mean, I, I've seen a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm a Zimbabwean, right? Uh, and growing up, I, I've seen an economy that's been up and down and up and down. And Zimbabweans would probably say uh, mostly down. <laughs> and I would, and I, you know, I would understand that. And, and so what I saw was that people that had been working hard, a lot of them didn't get their pensions or if they got them, they didn't get what, what was promised. 
right? Like ask any Zimbabwean, and I'm sure they're going to tell you this kind of thing. It's not just in Zimbabwe. You go different places, different countries um, that have been through crazy inflations. You go to Argentina. You go to um, uh, Germany. Why am I Germany? You go to uh, all kinds of places, guys. And I'm just telling you, uh, even in the U.S., you, have, uh, you had the Great Depression for a while there. So if you were just relying on a full-time job and you want to be your own boss someday, but you're, you're letting all these things stop you from actually starting a side hustle, uh, you're probably making a very big mistake because the time is going to pass anyway. The five, ten years is going to pass anyway. So that's my message for you guys. I hope you take it seriously. You do some research today. Check out how do you start a side hustle. Go on Google. Go on YouTube. Go on uh, Twitter. There are people talking about how to do a side hustle. And take that product idea that you've been sitting on for the last three years and saying someday I'll. You know, you, you've been maybe living on someday I'll for a long time. And, you know, grab a book that talks about how to start a side hustle. There's a lot of good resources out there. And, uh, and, and start, start building. You're going to make mistakes, but, uh, you know, uh, imperfect action is better than uh, perfect inaction in this case. So I hope that helps. That's my perspective. And uh, you can also grab some of my free resources to help you with your side hustle. Links will be in the description.